we have a program called StatCrunch that calculates measures for us in this course. For instance, in this particular problem, we have this data set. And we are asked to find some measures. We're asked to find the range, variance, and standard deviation. We can click the little rectangle that's next to the data set, and a box comes open that says Open in StatCrunch. So we'll open this in this program, StatCrunch. And then we see that that data set has been added to this column. That's how this program works, is in columns. If I click Stat, Summary Statistics, Columns, then I'm going to select that column and it will appear in this active box. I was supposed to find the mean, or rather the variance, and the standard deviation. What I'm going to do is select those items. If I were to click Variance and then click Control if I'm on a PC or Command if I'm on a Mac and then click Standard Deviation, I find those two items appearing in this box, in the active box. I could also hold down Shift and the down arrow. This will allow me to select as many adjacent items as I like. Once I have whatever I want to find measures for in this active box, I'll click Compute. And what is returned is an output box that tells me all of the measures that I requested. For instance, the number of data values in the data set was 20. The mean is 2.1. The variance is 0.5. The standard deviation is 0.7. The median is 2. The range is 3. The minimum is 1. You should learn to use StatCrunch effectively right from the beginning of the course. It is a very efficient, accurate, and quick way for you to get through many of the problems that you will find in the homework, quizzes, and tests in this course.